Hello there, welcome to Tuck in Cash. What an exciting time that Wingspan Oceania is hitting the digital platform. And today I'm going to play a game against my fellow wingmate, Flan from Winging It. So Flan will be recording his game as well. So if you want to check out the game from his perspective, you can head over to his channel. Um, yeah, so we are playing the game with all the expansion, um, including European, the base game. So let's take a look here. Um, definitely the first bird that jumped out to me is the Astropia, getting egg in the forest, quite strong. And coupled that with the Robin, that could be a good forest engine they're going. So maybe that? And maybe another bird for cycling with the robin, I'm thinking. Um, even the rye bill can be quite strong. Yeah, I think with the with the nectar, I can play the estropia, gain food, play the robin. Yeah, I think I prefer to keep extra card rather than... Um, rather than food here, because food, I will have easy access, so... Yeah, that's 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 not very usual that you get the luxury of keeping four birds in the base game, but Oceania really changing the game up quite a bit. Um, mechanical Engineer, no doubt, one of the best bonus card in Oceania, if not the whole game, so... Oh, I didn't even look at the tray, um, but nothing really jumped out to me here. So yeah, I can even use the Buster to gain a card, so I either do that or do the Rye Bell. The Rye Bell might be not as good in early game because there's just not that many discarded bonus cards. So I'm leaning towards using the Buster here. Alright, they got the classic... High build greed for good card draw. Um, yeah, the Estropia is okay in the two player game because we both will get an egg, so it really doesn't benefit me too much in some way, but, um, but it still helps to build up some tempo. Um, especially with the Robin, I'm really liking where this game is going here. Just have to pay attention to what birds that I want in the tray, but really nothing so far. Stubble quill, if I have a strong force um, set up potentially. But we'll see. I think lightly I'll tug. Ooh, morning dove. I may have to pick that up, right? It's just so good for my forest. Um, yeah. Doesn't feel the greatest picking up one bird at a time, but I think it can work. So right now my forest is looking pretty good. Um, I mean, again, technically, Astropia is not an engine bird because we both get an egg, so I don't net any point. But with the Robin and Dove, um, it's looking, it's looking better. I wonder if, do they, are they digging? Okay. So I draw bird again. I think I'm gonna get the two nectar here while they're still available. Maybe they're waiting for that eggs from me. I guess with the dove down, I can consider not activating my estropia if I don't need it um, because it's not netting me any points, so.
All right, let's see. What did I do? Bullfinch, nice. Going with my plan here. All right, nectar for me. I like that. I mean, here's a play I don't really have to activate my extra P, right? If I don't need the egg. I just need one egg to play the Robin anyway, so... Um, I'm gonna skip it. So they have to leave at least one Nectar for me. Oh, two. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of food. Oh, I, I know. They got the... What was that? Um, the partridge. That is such a good bird, especially if that's set up. Um, that is really good. Um, all right, let's see. Missionary leader. Not the best. Hopefully, I can cycle that with some other birds. Let's see if I get it. Ooh, ooh I love it. That helps me continue to gain, um... The gaining fruit steel? That's so interesting. They have to spend all the nectar. They only have one turn, so... They gotta be some plan. Maybe the stubble quill. Did they get the stubble quill? So they're trying to get all the 6-8. And that's a good way to win the nectar points, too. Um, in any case... I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I think either the stubble quill or what was that? The partridge. They're gonna get plenty of eggs. I think the stubble quill because of the end of round go here. That is quite smart. Getting six eggs, if I remember. So you can discard one food for one egg. So they won't have to lay eggs for a long time. But playing the partridge could be good for late game too. Because, you know, that egg spot up and down. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, it's not a cavity. So they do get six eight. That's pretty smart. And four nectar in the grassland. Yeah, that's... That's a good way to lock that in. Um, in any case, I think I just have to cycle for cards, I guess. Um, I do want the red knot. Maybe I take away the nectar even though I can use it. Let's see. Okay, don't really need a house strength. Oh, that was fast. All right. I'm going first. Is there anything I want from the tray? Honestly, no. <laughs> uh, that and a frown go not looking good for me with that six eggs. Kukatu, I don't have extra card to tug. Um, I don't think the Roselle is any good. So I think I need to keep cycling. So... All right, take all the nectar. It's then Kingbird. Um, two low points. All right. Looking pretty fruit, but for mechanical, I think two set. <clears throat> It's usually pretty easy to get that, all right? All right, still need some grub, so I'll keep doing that. Let's 
see. Ooh, Wagtail. Not sure about Wagtail if I'm running a forest engine here. Wagtail. I mean, if I have extra food, Wagtail. Wagtail could be it, but I will need to lay eggs. I think, I think there might be a world where I can use the Wagtail. That gave me a lot of food. Alright, hopefully I can find something nice. Should I spend the nectar? Yeah. I'm still feeling out how to compete for the nectar points here, but I guess I should... Nah, I'm gonna save the nectar for hard to play birds here. Backyard birder, okay. Yeah, this bonus card are not good. Hopefully I can find one that helped me to cycle all this bad bonus card. Not the carrion crow. Ooh, definitely not you. Not you either. Um Yeah, not gonna play any of this. So if I want to use a Wagtail to have four turn play, draw a card, lay eggs, and gain food. Yeah. I have to gain food. Gain food. Play, draw a card, lay eggs. I don't think that's a bad idea. Butcher bird. Okay, that's nice. Maybe I should gain the nectar while they're still here. Right? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Hmm. Wow, they're really building up a wetland here. Um, so I play the Willy Wacker in the wetland so that I can get extra extra cards, or I can play it in the grassland so when I lay I lay extra eggs. So I think I play in the wetland here. I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty limited what birds I can play. I only have this three food here, so it is kind of risky. Definitely don't want to play the cuckoo or any of this bird. So what is the gray teal? Move from three from a deck, okay. Muse Swan, of course, they're building a wetland engine here. Um, so that's three tugs, that's four tugs. Oh wow, that's looking really good. And then the butcher bird, potentially two points. They are finding all the right birds. So, I just gonna play my game and I play, find a bird that I can play, not the siskin. Falcon, eh, not especially. Oh, even worse. Kind of regret playing the Wagtail now. Um, I might have to settle with. The Siskin here. The Siskin is not even any good. But I can't play the Karimako. Maybe the Falcon? Hmm. One, two. Yeah. I will focus on winning the last two in a crown code here for sure. Um I mean I'm committed to a whack tail. I gotta go for it, so.
And I think all my two power get activated before Nectar is gone, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm screwed. So it will come down to how well that Butcher Bird hit. If it hit really well, that's really good. That's two points. Um, I guess the grade two is not guaranteed. Look, it just hit. So that's like three, four, five, six points. That's really good. Okay. I don't like this, but... Siskin, on a falcon. All right. Man, duck, even like what is going on? Um, is man duck even good for them? I guess it's three points and then they got one points. Yeah, all the right bears just showing up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to be a really good wetland engine there. Really happy for them. Um, in the meantime, I mean, that is the greater flamingo. That I can use, so. Let's see. Yeah, the greater flamingo. Maybe I can focus. I guess if they're running the wetland, I need to focus on winning the end of round goal and maybe the nectar point. Maybe the way to go. Now I need one more food for the man dug. I don't know if man dug is worth it. So man dug. You know, they took three cards, so one, three, four. Mantug is like a net one, and they get they get a grain, so. Because they already have the mute swan. Would be nice if they played a Mantug, then the mute swan, but not sure about Mantug after mute swan. But Manda could potentially help them to win the end of round go here though, so. Let's see how am I doing for the end of round. Look like they are going for the Manda here. Okay. Um so mechanical bonus. What do I need? I need ground as one, two, one, two, three. I need cavity ness actually. Hopefully I'll find them. Um, yeah. Nectar, yes. Turtle Dove. I think that could be nice for getting extra card. But I really need two cavity nests to get the mechanical engineer to sew. Did they get nectar? They did not get nectar. So they play a man that can potentially win the wetland end of round. The nectar. The forest looking pretty good. Grassland, I'm not sure. Four turn. Okay. Yep, they do play a man duck, so I definitely win the wetland kind of round here so so 
so I only need to spend one more nectar to win it. So, Wagtails, draw card, lay eggs, draw card, lay eggs, maybe need food. I'm not sure if I still need to play the Wagtail game, but maybe I do. Let's see. Three turns. One, two, three. Oh, they took all the birds that I won, but hopefully they review some better birds. Okay. Not especially. Um, maybe... Maybe I lay it first if I play the Wagtail so that I can get one more tuck with Flamingo. We'll see if that works out. It is gonna make competing for the Animal Prime go here kinda hard. But... We'll see. I need cavity mess. Don't really want to settle for the mistletoe here. That is lots of tucks. Wow, the butcher bird hit three times already. Very nice. All right. Garden eight. Um, big point birds potentially. I might need this for the star nest and play another bird, so not you. Okay, can cycle three times. Yeah. Mannequin, star nest. And play more birds might be the way to go. Let's see. Little penguin, okay. Is little penguin better than bolt eagle, I guess, with the sternness? Bran, okay. So play a bird, ignore one eight cause, okay. Should be looking pretty good for mechanical. Should win this in a frown. Yeah. We we'll see all that combined is enough to win. In a frown. Nectar points. Might not be quite enough against this engine here. Hopefully we'll bring it close. Bonus card not looking very good. I mean, I did score Backyard Birder, which is kind of sad, but still, it's worth something. Visionary Leader, really hope I can cycle that off. Okay, so that five food. One fish, maybe grain. Roden. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, I'm gonna use brand. Let's see. Pro. Not especially. I don't have a lot of big point birds either. I'm hoping to find them. Alright, six foods. Alright, last round. 
definitely looking at picking up the wild turkey because of the big points but also want to delay picking up cards because I want to activate I want to activate the the flamingo so I'm thinking maybe I use the robins to cycle for that um wild turkey and see where it goes need lots of nectar yep perfect I need to spend as much nectar in the grassland to win that. Four, so I'm gonna spend another two. Should be looking pretty good. Yeah, I need to win all that points. So penguin is gonna win me the mechanical. Backyard birder. Yeah, we'll see. Missionary there. So sad. So sad. So I get one more birds to play with the mannequin. So I need to look for more birds, big point birds, hopefully. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't know if I can, if I have a chance to use my wagtail because I only have four turns. Um, let's play this first. Don't think they're gonna compete for the nectar point here. Um, penguin. Three turns. Yeah, I don't know about Wagtail. Three turns. Oh, I can play the penguin with my one of this. Play a bird. Play four birds. Okay. Maybe I don't play the penguin first. So I draw cards and then. I lay eggs, and then I gain food, and I play play. Penguin would help me to win the last in a brown go though. I would play a turtle dove to get one nectar point. Yeah, so they can potentially tie the grassland in a brown, and I really don't want that. Um. So yeah, I can use, yeah, don't think they're going to gain food anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is draw a card, gain food, and then lay eggs, and then I can use this two to play. Ugh. So they have one, two, and then they have the, what's that called? The bird that laid eggs in all the bonus, so they have three. So I can potentially still win the bonus and a crown here. Um, but yeah, I do want to gain. I do want to. All right, let's let's gain card first. Let's see, what do I need? So big point birds, right? So let's see. Not you. Oh. <laughs> No, because I already have the penguin. Okay, not you either. Um, but I have backyard birders, so this could potentially worth additional three points. And the water bird. Water bird. One, two, three, three nectar. Yeah, don't know. Probably not gonna spend eggs here. Okay. Let's see. Barn owl is a big point. Uh, can I do better than barn owl? 
Let's see. Ooh. Um, that looks kind of interesting. I do have quite a few Starness. Maybe. Yeah. If I play the Penguin and then Fairy Ran. Fairy Ran is one, two, three, seven points. Maybe. Yeah, I think that guaranteed me winning the, the last enough round. Too bad, do not scare. Should I try to win? I think it's about the same. I can play one of this to win the backup birder. But Fairy Ran is three point plus one more. Yeah. We will see. But I'm definitely winning the... All the nectar point here. Pretty happy about that. Okay, let's see what's happening. A card. Okay. Yeah, I need to gain food anyway. Um, what do I need? I need grain. So. Tuck this, cycle this, yeah. Alright, maybe I get another even bigger point birds. Not Stella J. Alright, skip that. So yeah, use Wagtail to play Little Penguin and then Mannequin to play the Fairy Ran. Um, yep. Hopefully a close game, I don't know. That's a lot of tugs. I have some tugs, but not close. Six time Butcher Bird. That is very good hit. All right, six hit. That's a lot. Um, so discard card. Um, food. I don't need this. Yeah, I do have quite a bit of food left over. Doesn't think. Don't think that's a good thing. Um, maybe a better bonus card. I would feel better. Missionary leader. We'll see how close the game is. Maybe not that close. All right, what did I do? All right, they they play that to score the nectar point there. Very nice. Um, okay. In any case, I'm gonna play the penguin first. Oh, anyway, is the nectar gonna be gone before game ends? So. I better spare it now. I don't need a nectar to win that anyway, so um okay. Alright. Fairy run. And then lay all eggs three. Not bad. Let's go visionary. Hopefully that bring it close. That was really such a good wetland engine. But really focusing on the end of round and nectar, we'll see if that helps. If I have some bigger point birds, I would have felt better. 
All right, that is some lead, about 20 points. Okay. Maybe close game, we'll see. There's a lot of tuck cards. I have some, but stop somewhere. No, it's going, okay. That was a good game. I mean, 131, 224, I take that. Um, that that was a close game I was hoping for. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to score 124, but yeah, pretty happy with the game overall. I think we're going to have a debrief with Flan, so let me bring him back in. Good game, Flan. Good game, good game. Very close. I Very know. High scoring. I I um, was surprised, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I I was I was surprised as well. I thought I had it quite comfortably. I I think um, so too. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but those nectar points, I mean, those can be sneaky. Yeah. At the end, um, and you definitely had quite a few tucks. So, um, yeah, super interesting. I mean, like two very different ways of playing. So, like very early on, you set up in the forest, um, with uh with the egg laying birds and then the robin as well. Um, and it was it was so funny because I had the swan pretty early on. Yeah. And I was thinking to myself, all right, now we just go digging and we try and find that main duck. Yeah. Um, and then the the present for me in the tray, I think in round three. So <laughs> um, definitely definitely worked out nicely. And this butcher bird, I mean, I have. Very I mean, experience with this, come but on. That was, that was going crazy. Come on. <laughs> it really make so a difference much. here. It really make a difference. Yes, six hits. Yeah, it's it's big. I mean, six tucks and six caches. So it's huge. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think it it, it definitely did miss. It, I think it missed like last turn, and it missed a couple of times before that. But yeah, yeah, it was a uh, it was it was a nice surprise how well that was doing. So, it really determined uh, the game, though. It. In this case, <laughs> like basically, if you say so. because if it's you so, so small, like the margin, like. I also yeah, miss that's the thing. The, yeah, yeah. Like when you have a, I suppose when you have a normal hunting power and and you miss or or you hit one or two, it's only a couple of points. But like, yeah, you look at two or three misses on this, six points. You know, brings it a little bit more closer. So yeah, um, definitely, definitely helped. But yeah, you were you were doing some fun stuff there. I liked the uh, I liked the fairy run play at the end with the mannequin. That was very cool. Yeah, I uh, I found the, it at the, the very powers. last minute. Yeah. 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 I wasn't so. so sure about the wagtail, but I would just mm. say, you know, if I'm against that wetland, I gotta do something different. Yeah. So I liked it. I liked it. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had much experience using the teal powers, but I feel like they can be pretty good here with the new boards. Just getting, you know, getting more cards and getting more food. That's what you need, really, when you're when you're using the wagtail. So yeah, um, it was good. I think maybe just the. The bonus cards, like you started off with a great one, mechanical yeah, engineer, but yeah. the visionary leader, <laughs> a backyard birder. Yeah. Maybe not maybe not quite what you look to go for. So Yeah. Um was really yeah, hoping what for one of those birds that cycle your bad bonus yeah. card, but just oh, never I find it. <laughs> I did. I think I had the Abbott's booby and uh, maybe I think I saw the the Kiwi as well. Yeah. So Yeah. Yeah, those both would have been would have been pretty strong for you and I, I saw loads of stuff like i saw the wood duck at one point yeah um i think i saw maybe one maybe both ravens i saw the galah so i was drawing loads of stuff that would have been great for you um <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. happily tucking it so i know um that's that's just how it goes yeah sometimes. but yeah. I, I i'm still pretty happy to see 124 yeah. um absolutely when, Absolutely. When I see your engine, I was like, yeah, I got to focus on the nectar. I got to focus on the end of round go. So yeah. I think that kind of bring it close a little. I think so. And like I say, like, uh, you know, you think about base game and European expansion, you're always thinking about how can I get the swing on those end of rounds? Because, um, you know, one player winning so many of them can be strong. And I think it's the same for nectar. Like, you've got a nine point margin on me. Yeah. Um, and, and that's a real strength of the forest engine. So, yeah. I'm def definitely something to watch out for because yeah, there wasn't a whole lot I could do. I had to uh had to really sort of squeeze the nectar out where I could at the end. Yeah. Um just not really gaining any sort of through the engine, but yeah. Um I do have one question. So go for it. I, I guess I was man duck, well was was that like a guarantee play or you know, could that be like better birds to to play in the fifth spot? 
Mm. Well, that's what I was trying to work out. So, I mean, I definitely had the card draw to support a main duck, and I already had quite a few cards in hand. Oh, as well. that's the grieve. I forgot. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I had the grieve at the end that was yeah. uh, that was drawing me cards. So right, I think that I was. Sense. Yeah, I think it was net zero card draw. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, main duck was what I was hoping for. I mean, if I found like mockingbird, if I found cat birds, even like chiff chaff, I would have been okay with that. But yeah, main duck was good. I think that helped put a little bit of pressure on the third end of round. Yeah. Just by having a bit more food and then also, you know, doing some of these plays like the turtle dove and then the double play in the forest. I wouldn't have been able to do that without the food that the main duck was giving me. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think um, it's that a good That definitely point. made me saved. It saved a bit of turns. Yeah. Um, that maybe I would have had to spend um, yeah. getting food. But there we go. Very good, good game. game. Yeah. Very exciting. Very... Big scores for yeah. sure. So we're um, gonna see a lot of those in Oceania. <laughs> That's my so. experience. I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to readjust yeah. the uh yeah, what we what we consider to be um strong scores or not. But I mean, yeah, scoring over hundred is always good. Scoring one twenty, one thirty. Yeah. Definitely we'll take that. So yeah. All right. There we go. I good think game. that wraps up the game. And, you know, as I mentioned, we both recorded the game. So depending on where you're watching this, you might want <laughs> to head over to the other channel and check out, Absolutely. you know, the game from the other perspective to very different game here. So it should be fun. Yep. Yep. Definitely. If you're a Tucking fan, you want to watch my video. <laughs> if, you're a, if you're a Forest fan, you want to go watch um, Tay's video. So do make sure you watch both. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, do stick around because we're both going to have plenty more Oceania content coming yeah. very soon. And you are going to want to see that. So, um, yeah, hopefully see you in one of those videos again very soon. Yeah. See ya. All right. Excellent. That was good. Good stuff. Good stuff.